Yeah. All right. Let me read. Uh, oh, before we do that, before we do that, before we do that, R.I.P. to Rich Homie Quan, man. That is so sad, man. That is sad, man. R.I.P. Rich Homie Quan. Like, ah. Uh, and I heard it was uh, like a bad pill or something like that. We got to get this together, man. Like, literally, I don't know if it was Fent or whatever the fuck it was, but this drug crisis right now, like, it is crazy. This is really, really crazy, bro. The drugs, like, man, I, I hate seeing that. And I didn't even know Rich Homie Quan was that young. Like, 34 years old, man. That shit is young, bro. And, you know, at one point in time, Rich Homie Quan was one of the, the, the biggest rappers coming out of Atlanta. When he had his run um, with Thug and Birdman, they was doing that shit, man. That shit was legendary. That shit was super legendary. Uh, Yeah, he was killing it. And I just hate, I just hate when it takes somebody to die. For people to start, you know, appreciating them as they supposed to. Like I see a lot of people on the timeline, like heartbroken uh, about this and saying how dope he was. And it's like, man, we got to get to the point where if you really, really think somebody is dope, not because they're popular. If you actually think somebody is dope, support their music, support their business. Help those people out. And I'm not implying that Rich Homie needed any type of help, but like, nah, like support those people. And you never know what people are going through. Like you never, never know what people are actually going through. Some people are taking pills. They taking, they drinking, they doing all type of stuff to escape reality. And we live at this time now, man, where this, this social media game and like, it, it, it's, it's not for everybody. And some people are going to reach the top of the tops. And some people are going to fall from grace. Like that's just inevitable to happen. Like, unless, unless you was like, even Drake, Drake has, has had possibly one of the longest hip hop runs of all time. Literally. There's nobody like that that actually stays hot for 10 plus years. Like, that's fucking amazing if you really think about it. So no matter what, like, you have to... Un and look what's happening. A situation happens like with Dot and Drake, and then you just see people just flip the script. That nigga Diddy get cases and shit happens. Now it's, it's, it's no ditty. Like we tear our entertainers down to the motherfucking core. We tear them down to the motherfucking core. And it's crazy. Cause you will want some type of compassion for yourself. If it came down to it, like nigga, people make mistakes, shit happens. But, uh, overall that's sad news to hear, man. Big homie. Big uh, R.P. to Rich Homie Kwan, man. That's fucking sad. I did not, I didn't, I didn't want to hear that today. I did not want to hear that today. Screwface said, nah, that did the example was bad. No, no, no. I'm just saying in the sense of if you are somebody that's beloved, anything happens, we will tear you down for that shit. It's like Jonathan Majors. It's like, look, you get the allegation that you're doing something. It's like, nigga, we're, we're shitting on you. We're shitting on you. And let's keep it real. People was saying bad shit about Rich Homie Quan. They were saying, oh, it's over for him. And uh, uh, yeah, like, nigga, he fell off. It's this and it's this and it's that. And it's like, as a human being, you don't know what the fuck that's doing to, to people. And I'm not saying that's the case for him, but you don't know. You do not know what the fuck that does to people. Straight up. So that shit's sad, man. That shit's sad. RIP to Rich Homie Quan. Uh, hopefully, at this point, everybody take a look. If you're thinking about doing drugs or you doing anything like that, like, man, that shit is not worth it, bro. It's not.
It's not. This shit is not worth it. That shit's crazy. Okay.